remember if he wants. You know, he's training for it. He's ready for it. He's willing to take Fury on. So he should, if, if that fight don't get made, then I'll step up and take the fight with Joshua. That'd be a great fight. It's as simple as, oh, sign the contract, you big doctor. That's That doesn't, you know, it, that doesn't work. But a lot of people just listen to what Fury says and, think, and just say, oh, that's Fury. No, it's, that's not how these things work. Big fight. Dylan White has offered to step in for the Anthony Joshua vs Tyson Fury fight and rematch Anthony Joshua. Okay, so if you haven't heard it, the fight between Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua so far seems to be called off. So Dylan White has offered to fight Anthony Joshua in place of Tyson Fury. Before we go more into the video, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe to get more updates and entertaining content from this channel. Okay, so to start with, I found an article from Daily Express, and the article explains what's going on between Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Tyson Fury has been pressing for the fight to be signed and all the talks to be over with. And so far, Eddie Hearn says there are some undisclosed points in the contract that needs to be addressed. And due to Tyson Fury being impatient with Eddie Hearn, Tyson Fury has made the statement that if Anthony Joshua's team didn't have the contract signed by 5pm Monday, he would move on. So far, the deadline has passed, but Warren and Eddie Hearn says they're still negotiating. But from the looks of it, the fight is off again. This is where Dylan White steps in. Dylan White would say to Sky Sports, If the Fury fight does not get made with him and Joshua, me and Joshua could fight in December if he wants. Dylan White wouldn't stop there. He would continue to say he's training for it, he's ready for it, he's willing to take the Fury fight on, so if that fight doesn't get made, I'll step in and take the fight with Joshua. This actually seems pretty fair. If Tyson Fury doesn't want to wait it out, then the Dylan fight might be a good comeback fight for Anthony Joshua. Dylan White would go on to say that Tyson Fury's reaction over the negotiations process is silly. Dylan White would also say this. You know about what it takes to make a big fight. Fury and Joshua are currently holding talks. Do you think that fight will happen? I, I think it, it could happen, but Tyson Fury is putting a lot of pressure on not intelligently. He's just trying to use social media and it's just being a bit silly, really. These big fights take time. These big fights take time because there's a lot that goes into it. The team's got a lot into it. There's a lot of commercial things and protecting your best interests and other things and protecting your rights. And obviously these guys are on two different TV stations. Also, there's a lot that goes in. It's just as simple as, oh, sign the contract, you big doctor. That's, that doesn't, you know, it, that doesn't work. But a lot of people just listen to what theorists and, think, and just say, oh, that's a great No, it's, that's not how these things work. Big fights take time. I have to get everything right. Otherwise, it can all fall over. Uh, the way it's just like that if the things ain't done properly you know so what's your guys thoughts on dylan white versus anthony joshua make sure to comment down below and make sure to leave a like and subscribe in the middle of the screen should be a video where i explain five reasons ksi could beat tyron woodley i'll see you over there